Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using Next.js. Now in the previous video, we integrated Cloudinary to our application to manage the images. Now in this video, we will add Toast notification to our app using React Hot Toast. So let's get started. Right here is our project and uh, let's go ahead and log in. And I'll just log in with Google. Right now we can see that we are logged in. And uh, now let's go ahead and add the Toast notifications. So we need to add the Toast notifications whenever we have any error or whenever we create, edit or delete posts. So now if you go to the create new page and uh, right now if we set the title and content to blank and if I click on create post, we can see that we have this error message over here. But it would be nicer to have some notification displayed at the top with some animation. So further, let's go to the terminal and uh, let's install a package and it is called react hot toast and uh, let's press enter. Right now react hot toast has been installed. So let's restart our server. Now here we can see in the package.json file, we have this react hot toast. So now let's go to the layout.tsx file. And we need to add the toaster over here so that we can access it throughout our application. So let's go outside this container division and uh, let's import the toaster. So we can just type toaster and we can import it from react hot toast. So here we can see import toaster from react hot toast and uh, let's self close this tag. Right now let's go to the create post form component. And here let's go to the handle submit function. So here we are performing the form submission code. Now here instead of setting the error state to this text and uh, displaying it over here, I'll just go ahead and delete this line of code. And let's scroll up and uh, here, instead of setting it to the error state, I'll just go ahead and type const error message. And I'll just set it to title and content are required and let's go ahead and type toast and let's import it from react hot toast and we need to type dot error and let's type error message right now we can go ahead and delete this error state from here right now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now let's click on this create post button and we have this toast notification which says title and content are required so this is how react hot toast works. Right now let's go back to our function and uh, here if the response is okay, then we will just display a toast called post created. So let's type toast dot success and here let's tap post created successfully. And uh, now let's go back and uh, let's add some post. So let's tap test post, test content and uh, let's click on create post. And now we can see we have this toast notification which says post created successfully. And we have this test post displayed over here. Right now let's go back and here let's add an else. Let's type toast dot error. And let's type something went wrong. Right now let's go ahead and change this URL over here. So I just add a random URL. And now let's go back to create post. And uh, let's add some post and let's click on create post. And now we can see it says something went wrong. So it is working all right. So let's go back and uh, delete this. And now let's test it out. Let's click on create post. And now we can see it says post created successfully and we have the post displayed over here. Now let's do the same for the edit and delete functionalities. So let's go back and let's go to the edit post form component. And here let's go to the handle submit function. And here instead of this error, let's type toast and let's import it from react hot toast. Let's type error and let's type title and content are required. And let's go back to the top and I'll just delete this error state from here. And we can go ahead and delete this line of code from here. And uh, here when the result is okay, let's go ahead and type toast dot success. 
post edited successfully and here is tab toast dot error something went wrong right now let's go back and uh, let's click on edit and now if we delete this content and if i click on update post we can see that it says title and content are required so let's add the title over here and let's click on update post and now we can see it says post edited successfully so it is working all right now let's go ahead and add the same functionality to the delete so let's go over here to delete button dot tsx and here we can see we have this function called handle delete and here we are deleting the post and here when the result is okay and after all these lines of code let's go ahead and add a toast so let's tap toast and let's import it from react hot toast dot success and here let's type post deleted successfully and let's save this and now let's go ahead and delete this post so let's click on delete and let's click on ok and now we can see it says post deleted successfully but once the post is deleted we need to refresh this page so that we can see the result so here we can see that the post was actually deleted so let's go back and let's reload the page after the deletion so for that i'll just use router so let's type import use router from next navigation and here let's type const router equals use router and uh, here let's go ahead and uh, type router dot refresh and uh, here in the cache let's go ahead and type toast dot error and let's type something went wrong and let's go back and uh, let's click on delete and let's click on ok and here we have the toast notification and uh, the page also was reloaded so everything is working all right and with that we have completed creating this app using next.js in the next video we will see how to deploy this to Vercel. all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day